so welcome back guys this is the episode 4 of minecraft let's play 100 days survival and i basically could not uh sorry for i could not make the day 9 and day 8 on screen since i was at a religious place and i got bored so i played minecraft there forgetting that i had to show you guys how i was making this soul stuff so at my relative's place I basically made this small farm. It took me two days, okay? That's why it is so big. Since I had already made almost all the portions, I stood here without moving and basically took every single thing I needed. I mean when the farm was complete I took all the weed and then replaced it and then I missed it. And then I took the beetroot placed it and the potato and then placed it i found some carrots so then i took them and also placed it and then i found uh some melon seeds i mean a bit of melon seeds uh from a villager from a villager so ah i took them and i simply just made the farm a lot larger in these two days complete and then i waited for the whole crops to grow so that i could uh, show you guys this whole amazing thing then at also day 10 i'm sorry i also played it that much at that place and i could not record it also i could not speak in in front of the, all those people so i basically mined a lot not joking a lot and i basically mined over here as you guys can see it's a lot big and it goes to by 12 and basically i didn't find any diamonds but i find found a lot of iron which is obvious and so i smelt it and i found 30 iron ingots i had 16 already and here's the proof that i didn't cheat there are a lot of cobblestones as you guys can obviously see there are some torches i had to get in order to beat it up some coal from the residue parts in this all stuff this trash and important stuff so we will taking the pota baked potatoes and simply make an armor done now for the sticks to come in and zard axe pickaxe that's all no more need okay this must so, face backward now for the new thing is that i have been in this seed for a lot of time in a lot of pulse and i just know where another village is minus 250 minus 250 okay so before going over that coordinate we will be using the fences just like uh, some youtubers to complete this territory of mine so that no stupid zombies can show up I will light that in place in order to secure my area. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is to make all these blanks. Um. So guys, this is the amount of logs we have gotten ourselves, and this much time. So it is like uh, seven stacks and almost uh, in eight stacks of blanks. <coughs> Let me get some of this. Okay, I think this must really be enough. Okay, so I will get three stacks of fences, which should be enough to cover this perimeter. <coughs> I think I will also cover the hole down ravine so that I don't fall into it. And obviously, it's not like I'm trying to uh, beat the ender dragon and the wither in this series, since I'm just trying to survive. <coughs> but if but if I make a 201, I will basically try to beat the weather and the and the dragon. Okay. So let me do it from here. Our small fencing will start. And uh, at this place we will have a fence gate, so I will leave it. <coughs> it's always a good. <coughs> it's always a good idea to have a good amount of fence gates so that you can escape. The boundary when needed since there are a lot of problems that the skeleton spawned outside the boundary and i had to kill them but i could not get out of the boundary quick 
Okay. It's gonna be a bit expensive. Okay, gotcha. <coughs> okay, great. So, like this much. And here's a damn cave. Great, but. Why are you here? You're alive. Die. Thank you. <coughs> Why didn't they destroy these already? Okay, gotcha. So guys, day 11 is ending. Let's go get some sleep. And day 12 is on and I am still making the fence. Okay, after this fence, we will go and make a bridge uh, to the second village, which is a desert village. And also, there is a temple, so I will read it. And hopefully there will be good goal good amount of goods and supplies like hopefully there will be diamonds in and maybe enchanted apples but i think so i can easily read that place is easy if you are careful enough okay gotcha so i'm kind of going to get some more wood i guess i should have taken it Nicely and on. And uh, it's going good. Still going good. Taking a lot. Okay, we are in the village now. So, I'm going to change the place. I'm not thinking about taking this place home. Okay. So, guys, now the fence is complete. But there are some places in which I have left holes so that there can be fence gates. And well, it, uh, it took me day 12. But now in day 13. Well, we're gonna go get some earth. And uh, go towards, I will tell you guys which direction. Mm. This way improves the... Okay. So not this. This and... Uh, so like in this direction, yes. In this direction we will going... <coughs> and hopefully we will find a sand village. <coughs> but until for that, let me get some gear. I think it's quite important and we're playing it in hardcore okay next up before going making that bridge I would like to wait until the 13th day and 13th day's night and put some torches around since it's important okay let's start well I think it's time for me to put this over so thanks for watching guys, please subscribe to me.